Traveling to Riverside County, we find the city of Menifee and the county's newest constructed bike path, the 16-mile Salt Creek Trail. Menifee is located in the heart of Southern California in the Menifee Valley, about 25 miles south of Riverside City in the county's main commercial district, and roughly half that distance north from the Temecula Wine District. Home to approximately 90,000 residents living in the city, this community is generally a mix of retirees and young suburban families. Currently, the city has very limited cycling infrastructure and can be difficult to navigate anywhere if you don't have a car. However, in recent years, new funding has been pushed within the city to drastically change that and make good on transportation plans that have been in the works for decades. The best example of that is now Riverside County's newest Class 1 bike path. Welcome to the Salt Creek Trail. A four-phase plan coordinated between the city of Menifee, Hemet, and Riverside County. Phase one of this 16-mile bikeway officially opened to the public in February of this year, connecting the two regional cities together across one safe, continuous Class 1 bike path. Now, residents of Menifee can traverse the first 4.3-mile trail exclusively within the Menifee Valley. In time, the entire Salt Creek Trail will stretch an additional 12 miles towards the city of Hemet, passing just beyond Diamond Valley Lake and ending on South State Street in Hemet, eventually connecting the two cities together along one continuous 16-mile-long Class 1 bike path. Depending on what direction you travel, the currently available 4.3-mile route will take an average rider anywhere between 20 to 25 minutes to complete while maintaining a steady pace of 10 to 12 miles per hour. If traveling west and riding east towards Hemet, you will experience a slight gradual ascent of approximately 26 feet throughout the entire route. The slope is so minor that it won't make a difference to most riders. With that, most riders will begin their ride from the west, outside of Getz Road and will head east towards Hemet. Unfortunately, parking is very limited on both ends of this trail. For now, I'd recommend parking at the Audie Murphy Sports Park. This is a free public spot and currently the best option available for visitors. From the park, cross the street and travel west along Newport Road to reach the trailhead. Additionally, the surrounding Audie Murphy parks include restrooms and filtered water facilities so you can fill up before you head out. From this point, heading east with the Menifee Water Tower at your back, you will ride among the beautiful protected open area of the Audie Murphy Ranch Park for approximately one mile. This is the greenest section of the path and may provide some shade amongst the trees, depending on what time of day you're riding. From there, you will then approach your first street crossing at quiet Normandy Road. Here you will cross the street and enter the raised shoulder of the Salt Creek Trail. While riding along the creek basin, take in the views of the massive Salt Creek and approach the south side of the Sun City Water Facility before reaching the second street crossing at the moderately busy Murrieta Road. After crossing the road, continue along the river basin and approach the small U-Gap that fully lowers you into the basin within the water runoff heading north. The Greater Creek Basin itself is almost always dry throughout the year. However, this is the one and only section of the trail that could be prone to flooding during a storm, so just be aware of that. For the remaining two miles, you will pass suburban community houses, the dry riverbed, and unique shrubbery and flowers lined along the bike path, eventually crossing over Bradley Road, under the 215 freeway, and reaching the current end of the path just outside of Antelope Road. Remember, from this point, upon further construction, the trail will continue 12 more miles through the rest of Menifee, crossing into the city of Hemet. If you prefer to begin your ride from this point, there's a small dirt parking lot you can park at. No, there are currently no direct metro lines or stations that facilitate this path. For now, if you live anywhere outside of the area, you will need to drive to the trail to safely access it. This path is also very exposed to the elements. The nature of the open Salt Creek Basin creates a strong wind tunnel. So if traveling east to west, you'll experience strong headwinds in the middle of the day and into the evening but that is offset by how flat the trail is overall, making it easy for most riders to navigate without much issue. Additionally, the entire 4.3 mile stretch is very exposed to the sun. Luckily, the Menifee Valley has a modest climate throughout most of the year, but during the hottest summer months, it can reach average highs of 98 degrees, so plan accordingly. Overall, 
you will cross three individual pedestrian street crossings, but these are low traffic streets and should be easy for riders to cross. Outside of Audie Murphy Ranch, there are limited water facilities, parks, or local shops to rest and refuel at. And parking is accessible and safe, but limited on both current ends of the trail. Generally, for the residents living within the Menifee Valley and visitors to the area, this trail is a positive cycling development within the region and will potentially become the top tier premier bikeway for the county. I hope you have the opportunity to check it out yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, ride on and ride safe.